Thanks for staying on the program. Now, Multi TV and HFC Bank, in partnership with Sethi Realty, presents the sixth exhibition fair in the housing industry at the Accra International Conference Center on the seventh to 9th of August. So, if you if you have intentions of acquiring a property, you feel free to uh, join us there on the day. But even even before then. Uh, we have two of our partners here uh, with me in the studio. Would I'd help you find out what you can achieve if you make your way uh, to the Accra International Conference Center come 7th to 9th of August. Uh, to my far left is Emily Claire Gulamte. She's an acting head of corporate affairs with HFC Bank. To my immediate left is Mono Sethi. He's general manager for Sethi Realty. Now, Sethi Realty is just coming aboard this year, so I'm going to start with him. Why did you choose to come aboard? Well, uh, it's our first project we have done this big, and we needed a real reputable, trustworthy, reliable partner, media partner. And I was approached by a multimedia group uh. and asked whether we would like to be one of the co-sponsors of the 2015 Habitat Fair. And being a well-established group with good track, track record, this was a good, good opportunity for us that we couldn't let go and it will give us the platform we needed to create an awareness of our product. And HFC has been with us for the past six years. Something must be good there. Yes, it is good. We have a good partner, and I'm sure you also realize that you also have a good partner. A good partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a two-way thing. It so is. it's win-win for, it for both parties. It is, yes. Now, let's, let's look at the packages that uh, people can expect. For instance, with HFC, what can people expect when they come to the fair? You know, we've been out to, in a sense, respond to the housing deficit in Ghana. We've been trying to do that by demystifying what mortgage is all about, is, is taking a loan. We've, we've also tried to get a one-stop shop where people can come and meet all the stakeholders. You can meet developers, you can meet advisors, mortgage advisors, you can meet anyone, whether you want to improve your home, interior decorators, exterior decorators, a one-stop shop. So we've been out to get people to come in and have a holistic advice and information on the housing, on housing and on making that one time big investment of their life, which is uh, buying or building a house. A house. And, yes. and something reality, because it's the first time, people would probably not have an idea of what you do. So tell us what you do and what you'll be offering on, on well, that today. We are doing days. apartments, two bedroom, three bedroom, apartments in Bong, Bong Katamansi district and for, uh, we are doing 240 units for the first phase 122 be two bedroom and 123 bedroom houses anything else let's look at how people can buy these properties because when it comes to yeah mortgages are there yes but sometimes it's about how affordable the mortgages you can buy the 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 two bedroom apartment apartment but how affordable are those uh, those properties Emily that's a big question because when you talk about affordability really you're looking at lower middle upper so it depends on which segment of the market you're looking at now also in, a, in the same sense you're looking at properties in the lower middle and upper segments so it depends on the prices of these properties also on the incomes that people are earning and how much savings they already have. So these factors do de determine how affordable the property becomes. And obviously when it comes to property, I'm sure Mona could tell you much better, but they're buying, you know, building materials at the market prices. So it becomes difficult to set a certain limit to the price of the property. And that's a big, you know, issue, challenge that the market has. But not with that notwithstanding we still got to be pushing so that people have the information they need so that any time they want to make a decision they can make that right decision so Mona, how affordable are your apartments what is affordable <laughs> it's it's very debatable mm. uh, you know uh, as per the english dictionary it's considered to be within one's financial means now something that be affordable to you might not be affordable to me so it's very debatable but our goal with SETI Reality is to provide a decent, functional, modern living space for an average family. And our properties are for those the middle income who are the main target at the moment. Okay? We want to make, you know, see, life is all about, you want to make savings in life. Okay? Mm. 
right now times are so difficult that knowledge is everywhere you know everyone has that knowledge and you want to make whatever saving you can every day we need to cut costs wherever possible you cannot go to your employee and say my cost of living has gone up I need a bigger paycheck okay so living more efficiently at practice is one way where we can save money every day for example it's if you have a car if you have a V8 and you have a a small diesel car, which one would take more fuel? You have to take a smaller car, you make more savings. Uh, then, then again, I like, I like the, you know, the argument about what could be affordable is very subjective. But then it, it brings up the question, okay, so who is this fair targeted at? It's targeted at everyone. Because some people might be able to afford the ho a house now. Some maybe not now, in the next two years. Once you have the information, you know what you need to be doing. Maybe you need to be saving more. You, you need to be cutting a few things out so that you can build up a contribution towards the house. So it's, it's, it's targeted at everyone. Some who are ready now, some who already have the house and want to improve it, some who have the house and need that house to, need to take some equity out of that house to build another house. So it's targeted at everyone, and information is going to be available to everyone who comes in. It, it, when you say everyone, mm. I, I mean, I look at the people right now who are going through a very dire uh, situation because they've been ejected from their homes. Is, is this also targeted at them? Yes, it is. Why not? But we're looking at two things. Two factors determine your loan, and that is your income and your age. So if there is income, and if the person is still, we look at your, um, your age up to your retirement age. So if you are maybe 20, 25, you still have a long time to work. So these two factors determine it. If you have income which can be proved, I mean there is proof of your income, it is sustainable. It is income that you are getting every month. It might not be employment where you are getting a salary. But once you're self-employed and you can show evidence of income, a sustainable income over the months, it can be considered. Obviously, that is one side. The other side is looking at properties that are within price ranges that can be afforded by these people. So mm. those are the two factors we're looking at. M Mona, do, do you have, uh, do you sell your property or mortgage so that I could come? And I find a property with you. I could just go to HFC and say, I found a property with Cersei, and I think I want to buy it. Yes, we have uh, talked to HFC about it. We have talked to Ghana Home Loans mm. as well and Stan Big Bank. Mm. They are willing to do a mortgage on our property for uh, potential buyers like you or anybody else. I like, I like people uh, like me. I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> but let, let's, let's, I mean, for, for me, I think the conversation may have you know, incited some people already at home who will want to get in contact with you even before the fair uh, comes off in August, which is about two months away. Uh, and so uh, let's start off with Mono. You give us uh, your contact numbers and, and where people can come around to see the property if they wish to. Well, the site is located uh, not far from the main Tema motorway around about, about five to six kilometers away, going towards the Prom Prom direction. As soon as you get to the Pong Barrier Junction, you take a right and then you go down the road and you see a signboard indicating that you have to turn left. Mm. You can contact us on 0303302471 or 0269937099 or you can visit us on www.setireality.com. Okay, so I, I hope you got that. Then I can also move on to Emily to tell us okay. where we can find HFC and what we should do if we are interested. You can find HFC at Northridge and they have various branches all over the country. If you want to play around with what you can afford or what you can access now, you can go to our website, go to the mortgage, um, under the mortgage um, department, and you will have cal you have calculators there, so you can put in your how much you how earn. much you have and so on, and work around it and play around and see how much you can qualify. Do we have hundred percent mortgages yet at HFC? Yes, we do. For some, you know, for a segment, we have one particular one which is subsidized by the government, so that you can access hundred percent. De uh, that well, depends, that, that sounds interesting. That depends on the price of the property because if, if what you can access 
can cover the price of the property, then there is a segment that is public se uh, servants who can access that. Mm. 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 Well, thank you very much, uh, mm. lady and gentlemen, mm. for joining us here on the program. I've been speaking with acting head, uh, acting head of corporate. Uh,